Drive. And beautiful Pratchett Up Bay. Check this out. This guy's got a self-camping rig. <laughs> nice rig. Nice setup. What do you got? Pomo hand cup? Wow. You guys know how to camp. In style. Raptor. You have every option. Thanks. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Shower. You're joking. Shower. Yeah, you up now. Yes. Up now. Seriously. So you can I see? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tale <laughs> so I. My Ron Loom the eye. Now go or uh you might die. Sure. Fantastic. Now go a hotel pang. I'll go my pang. <laughs> Perfect. Kop Kuman Kop. Chokti Kop. Wow, there you go. <laughs> Camping on the promenade. By the way, if you didn't see, look back in the previous vid, I stayed at this fantastic Sun Beach Hotel. My little car, by the way. <laughs> see one foreigner riding his bike around, and that's about it. You can see in the daytime it's pretty sedate here. But at night people come out to the promenade as you've seen in the last vid and, and sit down, they bring chairs and order beers from across the street and come and sit down and enjoy. Why not? And here we are at my second favorite hotel, an oldie but a goodie, the Had Tong. Hopefully they've got parking. Uh oh. Let's see if I can park on the other side here. I think I'll just park in the back here. Right. It's been a few years since I've checked into the old Hadtong Hotel. I'm curious to see how it's doing. Let's go in. Wow, lovely. What do you have? Railway station, bus station, pier. We are here. This is checking me in. I'm gonna check out the lobby. Lovely. You can see the piers right there. This is one of the few places in town with a pool. And the rooms have a lovely balcony and view. I stayed here five years ago. Same price. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Come cup. See you. See you. Okay. 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 And the main reason why people stay here, the view. Aircon, okay. Got it. Come cut. Yeah, I got the double beds. You can get single beds, but they're all spoken for. So let's look at the main attraction, which of course is the view, the balcony, and of course the pier and the pool. And there's a night market on the weekends, and it happens right there right at the pier, so perfect. And there of course is Khao Chok Chok Mountain, Monkey Mountain. Beautiful view all the way down to Wing 5. Right. Get back inside. Very old school hotel as you can see, but uh, a few updates. Despite their single beds, extremely soft as I, as I like, not too soft. And a nice chair and table. Always nice to have a chair, especially if you've got a laptop you want to work on it. You can put the chair and table on the balcony, which I will do. Uh, fridge, nice uh, modern touch of a flat screen TV. Coffee and tea. Uh, closet, of course. Extra pillow, nice touch. And the home now. Very old school again, but fine. And a shower with a proper shower curtain so you don't get the water all over the floor. Perfect. And I'll put the price I'm paying on the screen now. And the speed test results looks like 93 up and 80 down. Not bad. By the way, I'm still rocking my little M1 MacBook Air. It's the perfect little beast to take on the road because it slices through even 4K video like butter. It's light as a feather. I would also add 
Who doesn't love the classic wedge shape? I love the wedge. And I would highly recommend it even over the M2 15 inch air. It's literally twice as fast. That's simply because of the 2x128 NAND flash chips versus the single 256 that the base M2 airs. And hey, no notch. Who loves notches? Not me. Right, let's go do some exploring, shall we? Bloody traffic here. <laughs> Hey, if you're thinking of coming into Pratchup and you're not driving, straight up here is a train station. Let's have a quick look. And here is the quaint train station of Pratchup. These guys are waiting to give you a ride to go into town. So what do you call by Talay. Samsung bot. Good. Oh, My yeah. thing. Okay, come cup. There you go. 30 bot to the beach. There's some construction here. That'll be the dual track railway. I'll show you that in a minute. So what the cup? Salai by by Krung Tab Aircon Cup. Oh, I got C Roy Song. So 452 baht. Then Chumong. 5.30 p.m. Okay, thank you. Come, come. Charming little train station, yeah? I've taken this train so many times. Love it. And as you can see, the new dual track is going to reduce travel times from Bangkok by a third or more. The big weight now is they've got a single track for a lot of the route. So the train has to get into a siding to let the oncoming train pass. So with the new dual track, no more waiting. Speeds up the entire process. Now, there is a new station being built just up the tracks, but this station no doubt will live on. At least the building shall remain, I would think. I hope. I would think so. Here is a new station. Looks like she's really coming along. In fact, it's finished. Okay, so in the past few bids, we've looked at potential places to live, from 6,000 baht bungalows to 7,000 baht a month apartments to 14,000 baht a month pool villas. So, Let's check out the shopping options around here, shall we? Nice looking eatery right there. What is that called? Retro Cafe. Check that out. And right next door to that is this Coco Pina. What's this all about? Let's go in here and have a look. Well, the first thing I notice is this place. What is this? A coffee shop or something? Coffee and bread, it says. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. What a bit of tong lore and BKK. <laughs> cool. Yay, coffee and bread. Americano 45, espresso 55. Screw Starbucks. <laughs> hey, look at that. Skyfall. Dirty top with coffee. So you get some sort of rolls with your coffee. Butter beer. What the hell is that? Anybody in the comments? Help me out. What's a butter beer? And all sorts of creations here. Real tea. Twinings, don't you know? The twinings or twinings? Tell me in the comments. It's twinned or twined. The food looks all right too, really. Well priced. 99 baht. Three bucks for any of those. Carbonara spaghetti. Not even three bucks. Wow. Okay, let's check out the actual resort. Coco Pina Boutique Resort. Wow. Isn't that nice? Well, this is unexpected. Driving along a back road to shopping mall. Just ran into this place. Just looked at your coffee shop. I love it. Is that your coffee shop part of yes, Coco Fina? Yes, yes. Busy today. You have time? Yeah, I have. Thanks. <laughs> this nice young lady is going to show us a room. Thank you. Okay, so off the swimming pool. This is the two bedroom. Lovely lounge. Fridge. This is the main room. So this is the main bedroom. Wow. TV, wardrobes. View to the pool. You have an ironing board? Yes, yes. 
So it's almost like it being at home. Yes! <laughs> we have everything. Just bring your toothbrush, we say. Yeah, the toothbrush we have also. And a rain shower. And we'll go across and see the other room. So this is the second bedroom. I like this room even better, I think. Yes, yes. This is better for sleep. <laughs> it's more quiet. I don't know. It's sunken down because you step down, yeah? Oh, two bathrooms. I should do. And another rain shower. I like the design. Fantastic. You get a lot of Thai people from Bangkok come here? Yes. Do you have any studio? Studio? No. no. You, I like how you say, no, we wouldn't have studio. <laughs> yes. We only have nice big one yes. bedrooms. Okay. Okay, so this is the one bedroom, the small one. Wow. Lovely. Why don't more places have the luggage rack and an ironing board? Nice touch. Lovely comfy bed by the looks of things. Aircon, another TV. Oh, I love this hotel. <laughs> it's a good idea to have this outside because someone can be inside and someone can be outside. Perfect. And then they've got an intelligent bathroom here because the, the actual toilet is in one room with a sliding door. With a sliding door you can't see through and a beautiful rain shower again. And this again is frosted. Smart design. I really like it. Wow. So you say they have fitness as well? Yes. Okay. And this balcony too, yeah? Yeah. And here's the gym. Pretty decently equipped, surprisingly. You have the mats, the ropes, the hoops, everything. And you even have... <laughs> Nobody should be angry here. Yes. Coco Pina. Yeah, that's why because of here in Pajokuri, kind of like coconut and... The two main things, coconuts yes. and... and yes. yeah. If you're interested in Villa Coco Pina, just scan this with the line app. Yes. And you contact them directly. Thanks, ladies. Have a great day. Bye. See you. See you. Onwards. What are we doing again? All right, we're going to the shops. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> hey, glad I stopped in there. Yai coffee and bread and coco piña. So I've got the aircon blasting here. So this is sort of a back way to Lotus. A little shortcut in the back door, as it were. Should really be a one way the other way. Well, we'll try. You can see many more cute little houses along here. Like I say, best to rent a song town, rent a bike, go around, and just look for, well, signs. Oh, that's a sign for 200 baht for fan or 400 baht for aircon rooms. You can go to a place like that and ask them if they rent my money. And this comes out conveniently directly at the Lotus Shopping Mall parking lot. How convenient is that? First thing I see is they've got a pizza, the pizza company. That's part of uh, Bill Heineke, American guy who came to Thailand with nothing and is now a multi-millionaire. He also owns Anatara Group, Swenson's, all sorts. So you can see, Pratrop does indeed have a shopping mall of sorts. Right, let's park up. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look. Here we go, into Lotus, or rather Lotus, is, 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 used to be called Tesco Lotus. Then CP All, which also owns 7-Eleven, True Visions and many other things, bought the Thai franchise of Tesco, and changed it to Lotus, is, is, added an extra S on the end. First thing we see, MK Restaurants, KFC, Banana IT, so you got a little IT shop. That's good, I like Banana IT because if you, if you keep your receipt, you can bring things back. For example, I bought an external hard drive and it was so hot, it was melting in my hand. And I had a receipt, brought it back, got my money back. No questions asked. DQ, but you don't have this back in your DQ. Durian Shake. 
durian smell like a pair of worn socks that's been kept in a box for years. We've got durian cakes, durian ice cream cones. DQ has gone durian. Love it. Price of the cone here, 12 baht. Oh look, they've got a little big camera shop. I use a three-year-old Android phone that I'm shooting on right now, and when I'm driving or on a bike, then I'm on a GoPro. See it bookshop. And major Cineplex. Only Thai. Only Thai. Market Village. Market Village in Wahin. So she said if you want English, go to the Market Village Cinema in Wahin. So and what's in pharmacy? And true. That's what I use for my home Wi-Fi. DTAC, currently our number two carrier. Soon to be taken over, I believe. AIS is the number one carrier. It's the one I'm using. 119 for, for AIS Play. And what channels you get? I actually have this. I just want to show you guys. Yes, there's many ways. You can link it from your phone to your TV. It's movies, rock entertainment. Food Network, TLC, BBC Lifestyle, Animal Planet, Discovery, Discovery Asia, Globe Trekker, CNN, BBC, 119 baht a month. Thank you. Okay, kakumaka. <laughs> okay, now I'll tell you a secret. I pay $2.99 a month for Disney Hotstar plus AIS Play Premium, which gives me all their channels. That adds on National Geographic and a whole world of other, anything that Disney touches. Then I just cast my phone to the TV wherever I am on the road. Presto! I'm watching Discovery Channel or whatever I want to watch <laughs> for $2.99 a month. Nine bucks. And it works brilliantly. Anyways, this is Tesco. Or this is Lotus. Good frozen section. You see the salmon here? It's Norwegian salmon. 79 bought for a pack of two. That would be enough for a dinner for one. And I just get some sour cream, some dill, and a little bit of lemon. That's your sauce. Beautiful. Berries. You know, STL loves blueberries. And here they are. 109 for, what is that, 500 grams? And the frozen berries, 69. It's not bad, is it? For mixed frozen berries. A selection of peppers. I love me some peppers. Fresh blueberries, 79 baht. Probably Peruvian, I'm guessing. Yep. But you know what? Fresh blueberries, unless they're out of the field and into your plate in the same day, they lose all their nutritional value. So you're better off buying flash frozen, believe it or not. Broccoli, it's going to be expensive as well. Looks like 35 baht ahead. So, obviously, if you buy imported, it's going to be expensive. You buy local, it's not nearly as expensive. And of course, SEL always looks at the cereal section. What are you going to pay for? I don't know, let's pick one here cornflakes. 80 baht. What size is that? 275 grams. There you go. Cornflakes, 275 grams, 80 baht. Camel soup. Camel soup's gonna be expensive. 74 baht for cream mushroom soup. Wow. Again, it's imported, right? Just make your own. People be writing, that's expensive. I pay less than that here in Tallahassee. I'm never moving to Thailand. <laughs> hey, price of Chang went down, did it? From 35 to 34? Not sure. Cheers, a large cheers, only 50 baht. Yeah, that's strange. Chang is 34 and the Leo's 35. Different, not same, same. If this bud's for you, you're looking at 72 baht for the big bottle. Again, duty next size is adding that price. And all your appliances, etc. Washing machine, 1190. 8990. Pretty good price, I think. A smart TV. Sharp TV. Right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is our tour of Pratt Trip's number one mall. Anything else? Hit up the number four to Wai Hin. You'll be there in 40 minutes and they'll have everything you need and more. The Pizza Company. Now we're outside, we're going to have a look at this. One of the best Seinfelds ever, the big Stein. I'm telling you, Costanza, I keep smelling the calzone. It's coming through the van. <laughs> Costanza, go get me a couple of calzones right now. Prado, move it out. Big Stein wants an eggplant calzone. Grab a menu. Usual wings, pasta. Not bad, 129 for a macaroni dish. Hey, pork ribs, 359. Ooh. 
And of course, pizza's from 139 for a personal size. There you go. Coffee cup. So that's the main local mall, but what else do they have, you may ask? And this here, Home Pro, similar to Home Depot back home. Crash Up actually has a couple of these, and they've got a great big bee home as well. And there, they're more like a, they've got lumber and all sorts, I believe. Right, let's have a quick look here. Well, I'll try to make this brief. The battery in my phone's almost dead, so I'm back to the GoPro. That must mean that I filmed a lot of today. <laughs> Hopefully it's not all boring. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we've got SP Furniture, Home Pro, and Concept. And they've got a big catalog and anything you want, you just look through the catalog and they'll have it ordered for you. $27.90 for this lovely shade. Home safes. Hotel room size one, 1690. Couldn't really fit a laptop in there though, could you? Store your Bitcoin in there though. <laughs> Carry on, so you can see they've got a lighting center, they've got lamps, lights, office chairs. Okay, it's not Herman Miller, but uh, 1890, it's all right. <laughs> Actually a bit spendy. Chop chai! <laughs> I pretended they scared me. 37.90 for that one with the stool, so it's like a hundred bucks. <laughs> You're having a blast in there. Remember when you used to do that when your parents went shopping in a big place like this and you went and hid behind the furniture? i tell you how I feel about shopping in general. Get me out of here. <laughs> now, some of it interests me, but most of it I just... I'm a minimalist. This one's not like it. Sam Gao Gao song. So 40,000 baht. Ooh, I do like this one. Kind of like the looks of that. Oh, there you go. 27360. It's not bad. Yes. Free delivery. Muang Prachua. Okay. Free. Okay. Kapku Maka. Yes, they do have lawnmowers in Thailand. How much for this bad boy? It's going to be expensive. 59 500 bucks. There's your heavy duty weed whacker. That's a black and decker. So, again, that's going to be imported and expensive. Endless sinks, stoves, hobs, whatever you want to call them, range hoods convection ovens it's something you don't see a lot in Thailand is ovens why because it's a hot climate and Thais don't generally use a lot but there you go so if you wanted one 18,900 for this gas model right there looks like it's got a rotisserie oven four burner or convection 9,900 And of course, your tools, your paints, everything that you have back home, probably you've, you've got here. What do you got? Insulation for a big bag. Uh, different. 75 cents. Oh, 75. Yep. Min. 150, 150 min. I see. Digua. Digua. Kapkun Krat. Endless tile selection. Hot tubs, anybody? Freezers, just a little one like that would be perfect. 6,290. Power supply in Thailand, depending on where you live, it's generally very good. It's becoming less and less expensive to get solar. You're seeing it everywhere in Thailand. Panels and light combo. So there you go, you get your bog standard mini floodlight, 168. Again, these are just little DIY solar lighting, etc. But if you wanted to do like a Tesla power wall and do up your home, there's certainly places you can contact that will do that for you. Little electric carts we're seeing all over. 2990 for that one. So there you go. The sun's now getting low in the sky. That means I think we're done with the shopping part of this uh, video. Well, it wasn't bad. Oh. Could have been a lot better. Bad. It was awful. Boo! Boo! And we're back. Okay. Cut through the lobby here. People out enjoy. Here is the old hand talk. The view restaurant.
place right next door. Plon Samut. Some live music on. I'm tempted to go back to the night market. <laughs> Maybe we'll go up, grab a beer. Why not? Well past the dinner hour now, but we've got a pier now. Where's my beer? <laughs> Looks like they're packing up. Yep, she's almost done. Couldn't find me a pure beer, so we're going back here. Maybe this place. It looks like every seat is taken, though. Ah! Montelay Cafe. You have Sambuca white or black? I'm white. Perfect. Happy. Wow, you got every kind of beer, too. IPAs? Yeah. Thai craft? Budweiser, how much are you charging for a bud? <laughs> 100 baht. 100 baht for a Budweiser? Yeah. How do you, you don't make any profit that's got big, <laughs> big import tax. Yeah, but it's okay. What a cool place. <laughs> it was quiet this week. It's quiet, you say? It was quiet this week because it was raining. Yeah. And the weather is really nice and so everyone just came out. I'll sit right out. Right there, if that guy doesn't mind, if I can sit there. Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. What a cool place. All right, thank you, Coon Pad. Nice to see you again. It won't be another five years, I promise. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. That girl, Pat, that runs that place, she used to have a place outside of the hotel I'm staying at now, Hadtong, five years ago, from when I first made my first video in Pratchwat. Anyway, she's moved to there. So fantastic to see her again. I didn't get my beer in the pier, but perfect end of this day, as it turns out. Still going here at the Plon Samut. God, I love Pratt Shop. One hundred baht for that Sambuca, by the way. That's crazy. Hey, made it back to mine. That's a cool shot, isn't it? Fantastic. Pratt Shop Bay. Balcony here, one last look. Beautiful Pratchrop. All the way down there. Beautiful everywhere you look. Night, day, anytime. Well, thanks for coming along today. Hope you enjoyed. Lots more coming ahead. So, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Good night. Still going here at the Plon Samut. God, I love Pratchrop.